All right, guys, I had a request for a video about alkanes, so here we go. Alkanes are molecules made only out of carbon and hydrogen and single bonds. If there's a double bond or a triple bond, it's not an alkane. If there's oxygen or something else, it's also not an alkane. It has to be carbon, hydrogen, and single bonds. There are two versions. There are straight chain alkanes, like this one. This is carbon, 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 all in a straight line. I mean, it could be bent off to the side, but it's all in one chain and then surrounded by hydrogens. This is the same, uh, something similar, but drawn out straight. We have carbon, 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 and there's nothing else, and it's all single bonds. These are called straight chain alkanes because the carbon go continuously in one straight chain. As opposed to branched alkanes, where you might have a straight chain, but then you have some carbons coming off of it, or branching off of it, like the branches of a tree. Here we have one, two, three, four carbons, but then we have one sticking off the second one, and one sticking off the third one. These are the branches. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six carbons, then we have a one carbon chain sticking off here and a two carbon chain sticking off here. These are called branched alkanes and there's a little bit of a difference in the properties between these two which we'll talk about soon. But for now, I want to talk about how to name these things. To name an alkane, what I want you to do is to find the longest carbon chain that you can in the molecule. If that carbon chain is five long, you're going to call it a pentane pentane. If your longest chain is eight, it'll be octane, etc. Now you have your longest chain, you need to name the branches. I'll show you how to name the branches with a few examples. PS, these are the prefixes for one carbon chain, two carbon chain, three carbon chain. You basically have to memorize these. Uh, I mean, the easiest way from five onward is that pentagons have five sides, hexagons have six sides, etc. But these four, you're basically just going to have to memorize. So have fun with that. Let's try naming these. First, we have this straight chain alkane. Find the longest carbon chain and add ane to the prefix. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine carbons long. Nine is non. So this here is non ane. And there are no branches, so we're done. That's it. Now, new molecule, find the longest carbon chain and add ane to the prefix. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm just going to count the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it's eight in either direction. It's probably not going to matter which way we go. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight is da, da, octane. And I'm leaving a little bit of room here to show you what we do with the branches. Notice we have a branch here. It is one, two carbons long, so we're going to call it an ethyl. Ethyl. There's no space in here. And we have to tell people where the branch is. It's on carbon one, two, three of the original octane. We call it three ethyl octane. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for the octane, and an ethyl two carbon chain hanging off of carbon number three. You might notice that we could have numbered the octane one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, making this six ethyl octane. But when you have a choice like that, we prefer to go with the lower number. So this is three ethyl, not six ethyl. And let's try one more together. Let's find the longest carbon chain here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it looks like it's six carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Six is a hex. So we're going to call this a hexane. And we have a two carbon chain here and a two carbon chain here. Two two carbon chains make it a diethyl. Now there's not supposed to be a space there. That was poor planning on my part. And they're both hanging off of number three. So we call it three comma three diethyl hexane. The di is something we put in front of branches just to show people that we know there are two of them. And thus we need two numbers as well. So a little basic naming there for you. Practice on your own. And the last thing I want to talk about with alkanes are some of the properties. Now, because it's only carbon and hydrogen, there's no real electronegativity difference between the two, and it's a nonpolar molecule. What that means is that it will dissolve in nonpolar solvents like hexane, but it won't dissolve in things like water. Another thing to note is that the bigger the molecule, the stronger the intermolecular forces. That comes down to London dispersion forces. Bigger molecules generally have stronger London dispersion forces. So that means, uh, let's, where's my prefixes? That means octane will have a higher melting point and a higher boiling point than, say, propane, just because it's bigger. The last thing I want to point out is that it also has a lower vapor pressure. Vapor pressure is one of those things that decreases when intermolecular forces get strong. And the last one, which is something that teachers always love asking about, is straight chain versus branched intermolecular forces. If it's straight chain, it has stronger intermolecular forces because the molecules are easier to pack together. If you can pack the molecules more tightly together, that means they have more opportunities to interact, and that enhances the number of London dispersion forces that it feels. Here's an example. Here's a five carbon chain called pentane, and it has a boiling point of 36 degrees Celsius. This is also five carbons, one, two, three, four, five, but it's 2,2-dimethylpropane. It's the same molecule, except it's branched instead, like they have the same formula, same number of carbons, same number of hydrogens, but it's branched, and it has a lower boiling point because it has less or weaker intermolecular forces. Just remember, straighter equals stronger. Done. All right, that's alkanes for you. My recommendation for you, honestly, is practice your naming because naming alkanes is one of the, the building blocks for your organic career and be familiar with the properties of them. Don't forget to memorize this list of prefixes. Hey, best of luck.